In this video clip, we will talk about dot product. Let's see why do we need to have this concept. If we play this animation, you may see that this is the starting point, uh, and then from this point, to here is the travel distance. In physics, it is called displacement, uh, which is a vector, because it has direction from left to the right, and it has magnitude, the length. Uh, at a different place, the magnitude or line segment is different, so the distance is different. Huh. That's one w vector we call uh, displacement, uh, which is expressed by S, uh, expressed by S, or this S in horizontal direction to the right. Another vector we know is force. Uh, this force pull this car and move to the right from the right from the left to the right. Okay, and we know force has direction. This is the direction. Uh, it can be decomposed into vertical direction and horizontal direction. Uh, then we know. The horizontal direction will be, you can write, will be in this way. That will be the length, length of the the length will be f. Choose the absolute value. So it's actually the magnitude of f, huh? And then cosine theta, which is this angle. Okay. Then is going to be the projection of f on the direction uh, horizontally from left to the right. Okay. So. This is the force projection in the horizontal direction. Because of this force, uh, then this car is moving. So the length of the distance this car traveled, and then is S, and one times another, is the amount of work. Uh, that's the work a person do. So work is defined as one vector choose the magnitude times cosine theta between those two vectors and then times S. So, in future, one vector dot means dot product times another vector, huh, which will be defined as F magnitude S magnitude times cosine theta. Okay. So, one vector times another, you won't get a vector. You get here is a number. Okay. So, in general, the definition will be like this. If vector A and B 
uh, those are two vectors. Then the daughter product of these two vectors will be a dot b is the magnitude of a times magnitude of b times cosine theta, where theta is the angle between two vectors. So is this angle between two vectors? Okay, so that's the definition. Now let's look at the uh, one of the example here. Huh. Uh, here is the example one. Okay, example one we are given vector a which is four zero. We are given vector b, which is negative 5 over 2. And then another y component is 5 radical 3 over 2, uh, which is basically vector b here. So a is horizontal direction uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 0. So 4, 0. Another is b. Huh. And then we may find their uh, dot product. So A dot B is magnitude of A. That's easy because the length of A, easy to see, algebraically is X component of A squared plus zero uh, squared. That's Y component squared. Choose the square root. Uh, so then we know this is 4. Uh, easy to see this is 4. Okay. The y component, uh, the x component of b is negative 5 over 2 squared plus uh, 5 radical 3 over 2 squared. Add together. Uh, add those together. Then we know 5 squared is 25. Uh, 2 squared is 4, 5 squared is 5 times 3, uh, times 3. And then over 2 squared, which is 4. Okay, so let's see what do we get for the first 2. Uh, basically, we want to see is the one right here. What do we get? Huh? We know that one times twenty five over four. That's twenty five over four. Huh. Let me give you more thing to see. Another is three times twenty five. Over four. So one twenty five, three twenty five together is four twenty five. So four counts of four. Uh, you do like this is four times twenty five. You can so this four with this four. If so, it comes out. The answer. The answer is five. Uh, so this one is five. Uh, and then times 4 times negative 1 half, that's cosine 120 degrees. Uh, we know cosine uh, 120 degrees is negative 1 half. So then the first one is 5, the second one is 4 times negative 1 half. So we then have uh, is 4 uh, times negative 1 half is negative 2 times this quantity, which was 5. Uh, recall was 5. So then we get to be 5 times negative 2, which is negative 10. So vector A dot vector B is negative 10. Uh, here you may wonder, uh, that the 120 degrees is given, but you may wonder why here is 120 degrees. And here is the reason. Uh, 
Here is the reason. We know y component is 5 over radical 2. So y is 5 radical 3 over 2. x component is negative 5 over 2. So the answer is negative radical 3. Uh, 5, 5 cancel, 2, 2 cancel, you have a negative in front of it. So radical 3 was not canceled. y over x was tangent. Tangent theta. How big is the tangent theta? We know if tangent theta is negative radical 3, then theta will be what? Will be 120 degrees right here. Okay? So that's the example for the dot product. I'll see you next time.